and I'm trying to see what's going on here. But I, I guess we'll get into it now. We have Gaming High 9x9 and Jojo de Hobo, which is the young... Sorry. Toon Link! I forget the... I forget... I honestly forget Toon Link exists at times. I think... I look, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The objective of this matchup here is you do not let Luigi approach you for free. Like, if he approaches you, you have to actually stop this character's movement and stop this character's ability to actually, like... Play the close range. Unfortunately for Jojo, he actually I was gonna say that bomb saved him, but nine by nine is not letting him have the opportunity to breathe. I think that's kind of one of those things that you have to do as a link. Any of the links, honestly, is you just don't be afraid to actually get run over, but also don't be afraid to throw a bomb on yourself because you definitely want to be away from that magic percent in which Luigi just takes away everything from you, life and soul. He's good, good idea to actually throw the bomb up, giving Luigi something to fight against, especially at the ledge. At this opportunity, when Luigi starts going for Zares, you have to really start anticipating like, okay, how do I fight them? Which at this point you don't have, you can't. But also you have to anticipate the fact that, okay, I can pull out bomb, there's a six second timer. If I do manage to fight myself coming back, as you kind of saw from Jojo, you can come back and the bomb will save you. But it is a six second timer. So you have to be careful when going for that low recovery. Which is really, really well. Okay, so far, so good. Really good use of the bomb just to make sure that, you know what? I am having something that Luigi can fight against. I think this matchup is definitely something in all the Link's favor, just because Luigi has a difficult time dealing with projectiles. It all depends on the Luigi you're playing against. Most of them seem to be pretty aggressive. Oh, close. Nice. And the bomb will break it away, unfortunately, to JoJo's demise. Because he could have gotten a pretty nice punish. It is two stocks versus two stocks, so he'll be fine. Good boomerang. I think at this point, that's where JoJo has to be really confident in. He's just playing the spacing game. Because if you play the close range, Luigi will just dominate. Especially because Luigi's just grab and jab options and pressuring tools are really, really good against you. The, oh no, and he let go of shield. That's an opportunity where at times you want to make sure you angle the shield just to avoid getting shield poked, but also that was a really good spot to be in. I totally respect it because the minute that you let go, you will get punished. And the bomb would have been a good breakaway. This is either death or an opportunity where he can get away. He actually was able to get out, so. This is why I tell people, if you're a character that can actually just do damage to themselves, you may or may not want to take the time of day to actually do that, and avoid getting caught in that percent against Luigi. That was good on JoJo, and then actually because it actually clipped below the stage, that was able to stop Luigi from coming back. Once again, the zoning game here is kind of the, the name of the game here. I don't, I don't see a situation where Jojo should be approaching. I see a situation where he should just be playing as safe as possible. But unfortunately, getting caught in the middle of that Zare. Get, get some grab. Good a couple of tilts here. Mering to forward air. He has the ledge now, so he can do a pretty good job spacing. But unfortunately, going for the grab may result in a death, and it does. Oh no, he's still living. Okay. I was going to say, he has to be careful with that low recovery, even though he has Zare. It's just the way that Luigi can pressure you with his own Zare offstage. He can recover. He has Bomb in tow as well, so. Oh, he had Bomb in tow. Once again, oh, be careful. I was going to say, if JoJo is smart, he should be playing this at the spacing game. And then use Bomb to cover options, in which Luigi may approach aggressively. Oh, he got out. Yeah, Boomerang at the tail end of Tornado. Nice. Kind of a risky option going offstage just to recover, but he had the Zare, so he's fine. The fact that- oh, no, yeah, I knew he was gonna land. The fact that Jojo fell out of the tornado is kind of like <laughs> a divine intervention. But I think Jojo played a little bit too close. I think he should have- he should have- he should have definitely just been more content with playing the zoning game for sure. I apologize if I'm- I think- oh no, I, have, I don't have stream lag. I thought I did for a second. I was like, no! 
I'm downloading Halo. Halo 5. So we're going to game two. Uh, looking back at JoJo, like I said, I think he should have just been more content with zoning. He did a solid job, just using bombs to cover opportunities where gaming would be close enough and he would just drop them. But we'll see how things go. Adaptation is pretty key in a matchup like this. Oh no, it gets grabbed. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you, if you manage to get out, yeah, get away and then don't worry about it. Either way, even if Luigi doesn't get the, the uppy kill, it's the fact that he gets to come back with a lot of damage off of one grab that's much more scarier than... And it's as scary as getting killed by it, actually. In retrospect. For Jojo, I think, looking at game one, I think he is playing a little bit more zoning, but he also has to start factoring, okay, if I do go to the ledge to run away from Luigi, I'm losing a lot of stage control in which I will have to fight Luigi's air, in which he's been caught by it several times. So he has to start factoring how much stage control do I want to give up? And if I am giving stage control, what is the risk reward factor that I'm getting from it? That was a really good bomb to toss down to actually have him something to fight against. He's going to be fine if he... Oh no. Yeah, okay, he's good. He's good. He had a good DI to survive that. I was going to say he had... Not enough DI in the world will save him from the downer, unfortunately, but... Good stuff on gaming to actually capitalize. Like, okay, he's he's been going for low recoveries, and that's super punishable by death. by death. I think that's something that Jojo has to really start factoring. If he can avoid going for those low recoveries with Zer, just recover normally, and then you'll be fine. How is he doing? All good strats. I actually just had dinner. Okay. So Space and Jojo, here. Jojo, the Hobo, and uh, Gaming. Hmm. I would imagine this is a hard matchup for Luigi. It, it is, it is. It all depends on how, I, I actually was saying earlier, like, it all depends on how the Link, and in this case any of the three, on how the Link can play the spacing game and also understand, like, how much stage control am I giving away in order to give Luigi the slip. Mm-hmm. I would, I'm kind of, like, surprised that, uh, Jojo is approaching this much. Yeah, the, this is definitely like one of those things I said. Last game he approached a little bit too hard, and then this game he seems to be approaching slightly less, but he's still approaching, in which that becomes a scary situation. Yeah. Honestly, um, Luigi can't really approach that well versus projectiles, so like I would never even fish for the kill, honestly. There's no re real reason to. Exactly. You kind of want to lame him out in order to like, exhaust him, and then he'll eventually approach with something like Tornado, in which you can actually punish. Mm -hmm. At this point, he's probably looking for Boomerang Fair or Bomb Fair. Yeah, Boomerang Fair or Bomb Fair, if I were him, I wouldn't be afraid to start Z-dropping those bombs just to have an extra, like, okay, if I'm gonna jump, there's a Z-dropped bomb that he has to worry about for over-approaching. Yeah. So to speak, covering options is what we call it in the business. Yeah, absolutely. Really uh, that all. was yeah. not- yeah, that was- He not, caught I, the bomb hole. Yeah. That was not worth the risk reward factor. Like, granted, he still was trying to go for an edge guard, which I totally respect. I think there's way more setups you can get as Young Link to force Luigi to let go of ledge and where you find a situation where you can punish him for it. But instead, he kind of just went a little bit too out there. So this is game two? Yeah, this is game two. Gaming uh, high won the first one. From uh, SoCal, by the way, guys. Yeah. He, uh, I think he's from a one or something. Yeah, he is, he is. But he doesn't go to that many tournaments, I guess. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't want to talk trash on this guy, but like, the power of Wi-Fi is definitely, uh, giving this guy a boost, for sure. As a, at the local level, he, he, he could break a few, like, maybe get ninth or 12th, but I didn't really see him getting top 8s, even at some of the A1 and locals. Mm, I think now, though, since he's uh, been playing so much, I think he could do pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, the the improvement is right in the final test when we finally do come back offline. But definitely, this is a much different player than I've seen. Yeah, I think he's pretty good. Oh, man. Oh! Yep. No. Super punishable. Wow. wow. Yeah, yeah. That was... I was surprised he didn't get the true combo from the bomb. But he still caught him mashing that tornado there, so... Good yeah. Punch. 
That's what I was going to say, too. That's kind of what it comes down to in the final game between Luigi. I think one thing that players sometimes tend to forget is you can, it's okay to play slow and safe, especially if you want the W, especially as Young Link. Sorry, Toon Link, because I forget <laughs> uh, Toon Link exists at times. It's okay to play safe, especially if you're going to lay out Luigi and force him to go for an option which he tries to go for something like Tornado, in which you can punch him afterwards. Super fortunate he did not get the bomb fair confirmed, but still plays plays out pretty well for JoJo. This is the final game for him. I hope to see some better adaptation in where he just plays super lame at the end, because definitely this is a character that if you do play lame, you will win. Mm -hmm. I think so. Also, yeah, it's just a, it's just a matchup where you don't want to just give him free grabs and punishes. Yeah, you should just make Luigi work for it as much as you can. Exactly. And the fact that they keep playing on this stage uh, just helps them out even more. This is like yeah. such a good stage to just run away from Luigi if you want to. Yeah, and it all depends on how gaming understands what the pattern is for JoJo as well. If he understands, like, okay, he'll go for platform after Boomerang in order to avoid my over approach, right, or my approaching techniques, then I can punish him with back air because, you know, he was in the middle of going for a jump and I caught that. So it all depends on how gaming can do to catch the jumps. It's really good for Young Link, I'm sorry, Toon Link to go for that reverse up B because it'll still send Luigi away and he has to fight for it and he actually catches him on an early death. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Luigi, very easy uh, recovery to edge guard. And I'm liking the player from JoJo. Oh, I'm not mm. sure about that down air, though. No, uh, I respect it, though, because of that situation where he was trying to get away. He was afraid, okay, Luigi might go for an upper, I'm going to go for a down air. But yeah, two, two over Zealous. I think like he mashed it for sure. Nice. The bomb? I can cover. see. Yep, I can see gaming is getting really frustrated trying to get in. Like, this is like the struggle when you're Luigi in these types of matchups. Exactly. But. but the fact that he has him already, like, frustrated is, like, showing that he's playing the match correctly. Exactly. The bomb to cover that landing, I would have preferred him just Z-drop it, he threw it down, but... The reason why you want to Z-drop just a little bit more in this one is just because it drops it directly below you versus you moving in front of it. It'll cover just a little bit more. Yeah, nice. On cycle. Oh, nice thing, though. That Toon Link Zare is really good against Luigi. It gives him a lot to fight against, too, as well. It's such a good spacing tool. I definitely want to see JoJo use it a little bit more. It keeps Luigi away. Good spacing to actually be away in terms of being safe. I think he can get Zare up smash to work as well. Yeah. And not only that, you avoid Tornado as well, which is a lot of big benefit to punish Luigi. Oh, nice order. Oh, missed oh. it. Missed it. Yeah, blew some far. Okay, again, this is another situation where um, he does not have to force the kill. No, not at all. He doesn't. You can continue to play lame and you'll be fine. As a matter of fact, like I was going to say, like, yes, hold stage control for for the neutral advantage so that if Luigi tries to fight against neutral, then you have the neutral, you have most of the stage, which will be perfect. This is back throw, not death. Yeah, you need to be close to the edge there, but at this point, just throw him off, get more of the stage to just throw exactly. things. Oh, nice! That's good. Yeah, he definitely caught sleeping with the boomerang. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. 89%, not too bad. Again, he can continue to just throw the whole kitchen sink at gaming. Because right now, I can see right now, gaming is fishing for that grab. I think he might be able to get the down throw cyclone or down throw a, a beat. Oh no, not a B. Definitely cycling. Mm -hmm. okay. Good use good use of get up attack just because that'll definitely oh. put gaming away. Good DI to survive there, saving the jump so it doesn't get too far into the blast zone. Directional air dodge to grab the ledge, but unfortunately nice. gaming comes real with the tornado. The bomb saves him at the last yeah. second. I thought the bomb would actually interrupt the cyclone, but still being able to save him there. And yeah, no, this is just icing on the cake right here. No, okay. definitely. This is literally the piece of resistance. Nice. That was perfect. Mm -hmm. I have a perfect edge guard on Luigi. I think he snagged the jump already with the arrow, and then once he's forced to side B, it's just yeah. 